Hey guys, so I want to say that you have to be yourself. You have to trust yourself. There's no one that can do the things you do. You know, times are tough. You know, times are really testing people. You know, they're really testing people. You have to pray. You have to say things are going to go your way. You can't look at the 3D. Times are hard, you know, but it gets better. It gets easier. I know that the Lord Bow has a plan for me, and God has a plan for me. I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's going to get better. Today, I go get my glasses, and I'm going to start weighing myself every day. And I'm going to start intermittent fasting and doing things I need to do to lose weight. But it gets better. It gets easier. It's it's tough. You know, it really is tough. It's it's a battle. You know, it's a struggle to control your eating. It's a struggle to not eat crazy amounts at night. It's a struggle to do what you said you was going to do, but as you go, it gets better. It gets easier. It doesn't get tougher, and I have to keep going. I know that God is in me, and God wants me to keep going. There's nothing I can't do. Let me tell you, there's nothing that you can't do. You can do whatever you put your mind to. I don't know what you're going through, but whatever you're going through, you're going to get through, and you're not going to have to worry about anything. Things are going to go your way. I don't know why people think life has to be hard but life should be easy it should be fun it shouldn't be hard it shouldn't be toxic you shouldn't hate yourself and i don't hate myself i love myself i'm struggling with my eating but i have to remind myself that i am complete i'm whole i'm beautiful with or without weight loss and i want you to know with or without weight loss you are valuable you are special you are great you are kind life is life is amazing life is working for you you're making money you're getting success you're getting the things you want desire do not let a small disappointment Make you feel like you can't do what you want to do. Do not let a a weight on a scale determine your happiness. You know, so many times we determine our happiness about the weight on the scale. When your happiness is more than weight on the scale. It's how you feed yourself, how you dress yourself, how you think about yourself, how you interact with others. How you complete goals. Like those things are important. It's not about worrying about who's the most famous. Who's the most richest. It's about being there for others. Loving people for who they are. And loving yourself for who you are. And I know that I will get better. I know that it's a struggle. That binge eating is a struggle. And the struggle that I face I know that other people face and that it gets better with time. People do get better. People do heal. People do stop binging. But even if you're struggling and you're wondering, will it end? Take it day by day. Don't let anyone make you feel like you have to be better. By a certain date, you don't have to be better by a certain date. You don't have to be successful by a certain date. Like, you really have to love and accept yourself and know that you're worthy of kindness and love. That there's nothing that you can't do. You know, you are worthy of people treating you right. Like, let's not hate ourselves. Let's not tell ourselves we're not beautiful. 
Let's say we're beautiful. Let's say we are great. Let's go shopping. Let's go out to eat. Let's go do things that we know we want to do. Let's go make money. That's what's important. Not a weight on a scale. Because let me tell you, just because you're fat doesn't mean you're not valuable. Just because you're fat doesn't mean you don't love yourself. Like, we got to stop thinking that the worst thing in the world is being fat. There's more worse things in the world than being fat. You can be toxic towards others and be mean and hate people. That's worse than being fat. Like, there is... You could be a rapist. You could be a child abuser. Like, that's worse than being fat. But society feels that being fat is the worst thing. And it's okay if you want to be thin. Because I want to be thin. But if I'm not thin, I'm not going to think I don't have value. I'm not going to think I can't get a man with money because I'm not skinny. Whatever a skinny person can get, a fat person can get. Plus more. Like, don't let... No one tell you you're not beautiful. Don't let no one tell you you're not great. That's why I try to do intermittent fasting. I try to do prolonged fasting. But when I fail, mess up, it's whatever. I did the best I could do. And I have to keep thinking I'm doing the best I can do. I know when I become a personal trainer... I don't want people to feel shitty when they mess up. I don't want people to feel like they have to be a certain size to be healthy. I don't want people to think that they have to look up to my standards to, to be treated right and to get good quality service. I want people to lose weight. I want people to, to feel good about themselves. But I don't want them to feel like they have to diet because diet culture is not healthy. It is not healthy. And I'm always in diet culture because I just so used to doing diets to lose weight. And sometimes you want to lose weight so fast because we feel the desperation, the need to lose weight fast when... That's unrealistic. What's realistic is a pound a week. Maybe 1.5 pounds a week. At most, 3 pounds a week, 2 pounds a week. But even if you lose half a pound, that's that's great. That's wonderful. Some people don't lose that. And I'm just trying to just tell myself I'm beautiful. I'm great. I don't have to be anyone I don't want to be. I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be well liked by people. I just need to put myself first and keep doing things and lose weight and to know that I'm going to lose weight and to not feel like I have to do it overnight. It's not healthy to do it overnight. It's not realistic. And I know that people want you to hate yourself. They want you to feel like you're not worthy of the life you want. Like, yes, I want to be thin. I want to lose weight, and I'm going to do it, and I am I have did it. But I'm more concerned with making more money because regardless if I'm skinny or fat, I want more money, and more money is going to come to me, and I'm going to make more money. So, yes, weight loss is amazing. It's a great feeling. You feel accomplished. But there's more to life than losing weight. There's more than being a size two. I'm just trying to live my best life. I'm living my best life. I know that I can live my best life. I'm not trying to live in anybody else's shoes. I'm not trying to be perfect for anybody else. I'm just trying to love myself. There's no reason to hate myself. 
And sometimes I feel my, my content is not good enough. Sometimes I feel like my videos aren't perfect. But you know what? My videos do help people. My videos do help people love themselves. My videos helps me love myself. My videos help me be someone that have hobbies. Um, my videos do help. I feel my videos do help, and I will get monetized, and I will get better at YouTube. But even if I wasn't monetized, I didn't make money from YouTube, I'm still valuable, still pretty, still great, still rich, still who I want to be. Nobody's stopping me. So don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody get you down. You know, people will treat you how you assume they're going to treat you. Nobody treats me bad. Everybody treats me well. Everybody loves me. Everybody adores me. I'm not accepting trash behavior. So, binging is real. Yo-yo dieting is real. But I want us to love ourselves and accept ourselves. And I hope to vlog when it comes to water fasting, intermittent fasting, weight loss, what I eat in a day. Um, really trying to move back to New York. I'm already in New York. That's what I keep telling myself. Yes, I'm in South Carolina, technically. But I tell myself I'm back in New York. And things are going to be great. Things are going to be wonderful. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving in. You don't need to give up. You don't need to give in. You need to love yourself. You need to believe in yourself. Things are going to get better without a doubt. So, benching is real. But it gets better. Don't let anyone get you down. Don't hate your body. Don't follow people. That make you feel like you have to do something a certain way to lose weight. We want to lose weight. We want to have the bodies that we want. We want to be healthy. But we shouldn't do it with sacrificing our mental health. Because some of y'all are sacrificing your mental health to be skinny. And it's sad. So being skinny isn't everything. Being skinny isn't, isn't the greatest thing ever. Being healthy, being small is fine, being fat is fine, but if you have to make your mental health be trash because you're doing diets and stuff that's not manageable, that makes you hate yourself, you need to revalue yourself and you need to do something that's less drastic, um, do something that isn't hard. Do something that realistic. And know that it doesn't have to take time. Sometimes it does take time. But everything depends on how you think it will go. If you say that your manifestation is instant, it will be fast. But we shouldn't do it with doing something that's going to be harmful to our body and our mental health. 